Hello. Nomad's card, the lathe tool. To use it a little bit for um, something like CAD. Um, I turn, I switch to the Nomad app. Uh, these are the objects. Uh, I create a new scene and timer pop up. Oops, uh, sorry. It's a the sphere um, we can reduce the, the subdivision of the sphere and it's okay and um, to wrap a contour around the sphere we use um, a plane in this view we have to rotate the plane in the right position front and we bring it a little bit more there and we can adjust it um, and we can validate it. Um, wireframe is on, uh, perspective view we can turn off and um, the outline setting is also on. Fine. Um, in the front view, we can lock the view and use the trim function. And we also, sorry, I unlock the view and I show um, um, the planes. We can use the green plane uh, for the symmetry. And Now we can lock the view, use the trim tools and um, trim something away um, and use for example the ellipse um, and the line to make an object like this and we can bring it in position when we want it like this. And we can trim another part of, oops, not back. Uh, for example, like this. Okay. Um, now we got our shape that we want to wrap around the sphere. And mm -hmm. We can lock this. At the bottom there's a lock function. And we can use now the lathe tool and we use a pass. And now the, our view is locked and now we can bring uh, the center of the lathe, um, the rotation axis, uh, exactly at there where the, um, the symmetry planes are. And now we can use uh, the lace uh, points. Um, I add the points. Now we are fine at the green point. And now we go to the material settings make it additive and reduce the opacity. Now we can see the shape through it. Um, and I hope um, in this uh, video it works. Um, hmm. Okay, um, we can uh, zoom in and add the um, edit the points. Uh, press it and then it appears to a black point or add points um, to make the curves smoother test. And in, in this view, it's, uh, I think it's very important to lock this view. Um, and yes.
I hope you understand how it works. Um, you can adjust the curves like this. And um, I think it works. And now you can validate this object. Oh, uh, go a step back and. Um, Yes, uh, we can uh, unlock the view and um, this is a rotation. Um, you can also um, adjust uh, the division for the rotation. And in the top view, you can use the gizmo uh, to uh, move origin, uh, to bring it in a in a center position and now validate the object and um, you can now uh, change it back to um, to this and um, now the object is finished and um, yes um, I do quick another object um, sorry um, I simple merge the objects and delete the plane and bring this to the side. Um, I add a, a box, go to the front view. Uh, the box uh, we don't need um, so much uh, divisions uh, validated. And now we add a, again a plane. A plane is always the basic. Uh, part uh, to sketch um, something on it. Um, bring the plane in position, scale it and now you can validate this object, go to the front view. And now it's important to know when you use the lathe tool uh, the lace tool uh, orientates in this direction, but um, you can rotate it later on. Um, but you see it um, then what happens. Um, okay, I zoom in the front view, uh, I lock the front view, and I use the trim functions. We can turn the symmetry off, and um, yes. Uh, we can trim um, some parts away. Like this. Um, I only do a quick shape. Um, and now we can use again the lathe tool. Zoom it, zoom it in. And um, in this, um, make always, uh, before you do this, um, make sure um, that the main object is um, in, in the center of the world or is the center of the planes. Um, you see the, here the, the mirror center um, because it's easier to do uh, than this. Um, Lock the view. Go to the center, and um, now you can uh, add your points. The view is locked and green, and then you can edit it. Uh, additive opacity down. And now you can zoom in the right position, make it uh, black.
last point black and uh, now before you validate it um, you can unlock your view um, and reduce the topology to about uh, to four and now validate this object and in the with the gizmo you can rotate it go to the front view and um, now you can um, use the uh, the new uh, gizmo functions um, you can scale it out on the green direction sorry I think or oh, yes it's correct and um, with the gizmo you can um, move origin and then um, you can also um, give it a local pivot and um, then it's correct and in the front view you can bring it uh, now in position <coughs> um, then turn it to opaque um, you can unlock uh, the parts and um, hold the smooth button and um, simple merge the objects and uh, the plane you can delete and now you can turn on uh, the post-processing ambient occlusion and perhaps curvature yes that's it and you can now uh, when this object is um, uh, simple merged you can now adjust uh, the dimensions uh, you can now um, the X plane is uh, activated, center is on, and now you can use the symmetry with a gizmo and um, you can now scale it um, or use the blue plane uh, and scale it in this direction. Yes. What happens when you use the green? Yes, green is okay, and when you, uh, uh, sorry, I have to test something. Um, when I use uh, Gizmo Edit, and um, bring it here, the green plane, and now we use the gizmo yes we can now adjust at this position um, it's fine okay that's it okay have fun with sculpting ciao